The Menu is a movie that definitely made an impact on its viewers. Whilst it delivered a compelling, gripping story that had you on the edge of your seat with undertones of humour, I thought the best thing to take away from it was the performance by Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor-Joy. During the orchestrated meal that we watched unfold in front of our eyes, it was a bleak end for all that attended. Apart from one, at least that's what it seemed anyway. But with the movie concluding the way that it did, there were three different endings that were left up to our interpretation. So I thought I'd break down and explain the three different endings to the movie, and discuss which one is most in line with it. So let's get into it. Here are the three different endings to the menu explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. As we embarked on the ending of the movie, we saw that Rayfine's character as the chef was preparing to take out everybody in the restaurant as part of his master menu. However, there was one character that was spared at the end, and that was Margot. She requested for the chef to cook a cheeseburger after refusing his food all evening, and then once she received it, she asked for it to go after taking a bite and acting as if she was full. This ultimately meant that she managed to escape the restaurant and she ended up on the boat where in the background we saw that the restaurant was engulfed in flames, meaning that there was no survivors. Ultimately leading us to wonder what happened to Margot at the end. Why did the chef actually let her go and did she manage to survive? Let's look at each of the different ways that the ending could have played out and the meaning behind it. 1. The love of the cheeseburger the first way to perceive the ending is that after Margot saw the smile that was on Chef's face when he was younger on the photo in his house where he was working in a burger joint, rather than the high-end restaurants where he made a name for himself and was forced to serve food that was solely for critics which ultimately led him to become desensitized to what food was, she knew that in getting him to create a cheeseburger like he did back in the day when he was younger, that it would bring out a side to him that hadn't been tapped into for many years. A place of happiness and enjoyment over the food that he was serving before the mental state that he was in now was present. We got to look at the passion that went into the cheeseburger creation and the slight smile that he had, something we hadn't seen throughout the entirety of the movie. With takeout being a regular option for that style of food, it was part of the dining experience that was present in his mind when Margot requested for it to go, so it didn't seem alien to him, which is why he allowed her to leave the way that she did. I also believe that in that moment, he saw that she was on the side that he was on as a giver rather than a taker, something that he personally battled with throughout the entirety of the movie in knowing where to place her. I also believe that because he was a man that liked to have things planned down to the tiniest of details, the fact that she was unknown to him and wasn't supposed to originally be there in the evening, he was slightly more lenient with letting her go, almost like an ingredient in a dish. You wouldn't add something into it that wasn't on the list of ingredients for a meal, so in letting her go, it wasn't too much of a loss for him, because she was never supposed to actually be there. So Margot's use of the cheeseburger, based on what she saw when she was in his home, was the perfect way to tap into his mindset and allow him to see a softer side to her, which ultimately bought her her freedom, providing a somewhat happy ending for the character. The following two endings have more of a bleak ending for the character Margot. Two. The burger was poisoned. An alternative look to the ending of this movie contains most of what was mentioned before about Margot utilizing the burger as a way of getting the chef to cook something else that she believed would be able to give her her freedom, as it was a happy time for him. But in this instance, when he was making the burger, it could have tied back to something that we heard Elsa mention towards the start of the movie, when the guests first made it onto the island. Elsa stated how the beef that they use, they age it for 152 days to relax the protein strands, and if it were to be served at any other time after 152 days, then the human would be incapacitated and expire. This wouldn't be an immediate thing, as the bacteria would need to introduce itself into the consumer's bloodstream, but it would eventually cause them to die. With a burger being the final meal that was served, which would need to contain some of the beef that was stored on the island, there's nothing to say that the chef wouldn't have deliberately used a piece of meat that was past the time that it should have been aged for, even by a day, and then decided to serve that to Margot, meaning his master plan would eventually be complete and Margot would go on to most probably die, hence why he allowed her to walk free so easily, without even putting up a fight like he was doing previously in the movie when people were trying to escape. All the while, Margot wouldn't even know that the food that she'd just consumed would be killing her inside, giving us a not-so-happy ending for the character, 
and showing us that the chef wasn't so easily tricked. But in fact, he had the last laugh and outsmarted her, rather than the other way round. Which would then make the shot of her biting into her burger on the safety of the boat even more iconic, because it would have been poisoned from the start and within a short amount of time she would be just like the people that she looked upon when the restaurant went up in flames. 3. Stranded for Eternity The final interpretation for the ending would be in line with the events that I discussed in the first ending, where Margot would have outsmarted the chef and managed to escape the grasp of the restaurant and the eventual death. However, with her boat running out of fuel in the middle of the sea, she could have then been stuck there for good, not being able to alert the authorities. At best, she may have been able to go back to the island. However, she would have been stranded on an island on her own, due to there being no survivors. The only radio that would be able to alert the authorities would be a dummy that was connected to somebody that was actually in on Chef's plan. So even though she would have managed to escape the plan that Chef had in place, and also the fact that there would have been no poisoning of the food, the very thing that could cause her to meet her fate could be just down to the fact that there would be no escape from the island due to the boat breaking down and her not being able to reach out to the authorities to get somebody to rescue her. So it would again be another bleak ending for the character, leading there to be no survivors at all and the chef ultimately winning. Whilst I like the original ending of the menu with there being the intelligence embedded within Margot in being able to outsmart the chef in tapping into a happy time of his life when he was younger, which ultimately bought her her freedom, I prefer the idea of the chef realistically being the person that got the last laugh. The very idea that he couldn't be outsmarted and used an overaged piece of meat that would be too damaging to consume and would ultimately lead Margot to meet her demise in the not so distant future feels like a bleak ending that most certainly suits the movie and makes the thought-provoking nature of it worthwhile, as it would be an incredibly intelligent way for the movie to finish. But with it just being left up to interpretation, it's one that can easily be disagreed with whilst also providing alternative theories to it too. Either way, it was a fantastic movie that was extremely thought-provoking and had an ending that I did really appreciate. So, there you have it the three different endings to the menu explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. How did you interpret the ending? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.